and now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about how Jesus called some fishermen to become fishers of men. We learned that God's work is always more important than man's work and God supplies those who seek his kingdom first. We also saw forgiveness is more important than physical healing and Jesus would rather spend time with sinners who were ready to listen to him than waste his efforts with self-righteous religious people. Someone might ask the question, if God's work is so important, should I give up my job to do God's work? When we see Jesus calling the fishermen Peter, James, and John, and the tax collector Levi to leave their work and follow him, he was certainly commissioning these men to a much greater work. God's work is always more important than any other work men might do. We might be inclined to think that if God's work is so important, then we should also give up our work and go out preaching and trying to win souls for God. While this attitude might be very noble and good, we must be careful not to make the mistake of presumption. What I mean by this is that we presume that God has called us to do his work so that we feel we must give up our day job. God does want his children to serve him, but not everyone is called into full-time service for the Lord. So often men make presumptions about this and follow their own will and not the will of God. To be the Lord's servant requires a definite call from God. To know and discern this call takes spiritual maturity and the recognition of other godly Christians. Usually a person is qualified to enter into full-time work for God because they have already proved themselves as useful servants in their work and ministries for the Lord. A man does not begin his spiritual career preaching to the masses, but learns by first sharing his faith leading a few souls to Christ until eventually he has been equipped by the Lord and prepared through experience to take on further responsibility in the work of the Lord. No one should ever appoint or proclaim themselves as God's servant claiming to be called of God without clear confirmation from other mature believers and a proven track record of service. Too many are trying to make claims of being God's servant and yet live and act in ways that are dishonoring to the Lord. I've seen some preachers on the street corners peddling the word of God to make money, begging from anyone passing by to put money into their hands so that they can do God's work. These behave as though God were poor and needed to beg ungodly people to support his work. This brings shame to the gospel and to the name of our Lord. Those who labor for God and are truly called of God do not need to beg because God is not only able but very willing to supply the needs of those who serve him. Serving God is the highest of all callings and those who presume for themselves a role in representing God when God did not call them are in danger of judgment. James wrote to the Christian brethren saying, Be not many masters or teachers, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. God will not look lightly upon those who promote themselves as his spokesmen when they are neither called nor prepared by the Holy Spirit to serve. Some people think of God's work as a job, a career, or a lucrative trade. This view of God's work is entirely contrary to the, what the Bible teaches. When Peter was addressing elders in his first letter, he said that they should not do their work with a motive for gaining money. The motive for service must always be to please the Lord and bring glory to Him through faithful obedience. The servant of the Lord does his work to fulfill the will of God and trust in the Lord to supply all of his needs. A famous missionary once said, God's work done in God's way shall never lack God's supply. God's call to service should never be presumed even with the best of intentions. There must be clear qualifications to serve and an affirmation of godly elders, a proven track record of faithful 
fruitful service within the church, and a burning passion to see the gospel advanced and Christ magnified. Without this, a Christian should never think of leaving their job, which God has so graciously provided. Even if we are not called to full-time service for the Lord, we can still serve the Lord faithfully in whatever task He might assign to us. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 8